Tom Brady. Just when we were ready to move on from the possibility of Tom Brady coming back, suggesting that he wouldn't be opposed to the possibility of joining a contender late in the season. Here's the problem, though. If and when they approve his purchase of a chunk of the Raiders, he won't be able to come back. That was an issue that came up when the sale was first news. There would have to be a vote. I think it's a unanimous vote of all of the owners, at a minimum, a vote of 24 of the owners, allowing him to play for the Raiders if he owns part of the Raiders. I don't see it happening, frankly, under any set of circumstances that he'd be allowed to play once that deal goes through. And clearly he couldn't play for some other team. I just, you know, uh, my first thought, because I'm, I'm always looking for the next domino. Is this his way of letting a team know any team out there that may be looking for a quarterback that maybe doesn't get the quarterback it's looking for? Give me a call after the draft. Give me a call. Maybe I'm ready to come back. The arm is going to be there into his 50s. And he's mastered the art of getting rid of the ball before the walls close in and he gets hit. He could step right through the door and play. He is better right now than I'd say a third of the quarterbacks in the NFL who are starting right now. And he's looking at that job from Fox. This is maybe his way to get all that. He's supposedly working so hard to get ready for Fox. Why would he throw that away and go back and play? I just, I don't think there are accidents. I don't think there are spontaneous moments. I think anything that happens that is said is an indication of something else. Shereen, I think he's thinking about coming back and playing for somebody, not week 18. I think he's thinking about coming back and playing for somebody week one if the opportunity presents itself. And now everyone out there who might be interested in him knows there's a reason to make a phone call. The question is, does he really want to play for a contender? Does, does he just want to play? You know, he said, I'm retired for good when he announced he was retired. And obviously now he's having second thoughts about being retired for good. But if you want to play for a contender, like there's probably only – five or six of those guys, uh, teams, and you can guess which of those teams are, and guess what? They all have quarterbacks. So if you really want a shot at another Super Bowl, then you probably wait at least a little bit and see if there's an injury to then come back. But if you just want to play, and he probably thinks that he can make any team a Super Bowl contender if they have at least a few parts around him, and Hey, guess what? He did that with the box. I mean, they had some good parts in place and he made them a contender. He, they wouldn't have won the Super Bowl without Tom Brady. There's no question about that. So maybe there's a team or two out there that he feels like if they had the quarterback and the right quarterback, that he could get it done. Unlike Peyton Manning, you talked about this, he could play to 50. Peyton Manning lost his fastball. The year they won the Super Bowl, he was not good and he still didn't have the, the, he didn't have the arm strength any longer and all the things, you know, he still had the mind, but the, the body was failing him a little bit. You don't see that with Brady, like, and I'm sure he's still working out and still doing all those right things. So I'm sure he could just step right in pretty much and play. Now he had some problems with the playbook initially. He wasn't good early in, in, Tampa days so he would have to get that playbook and get going but the question is Mike would he want to play for a contender a true contender or does he think he can make any team possible a contender just because he's Tom Brady and look if he's thinking about doing it during the season he's gonna have to find a way to stay in shape while he's going from city to city as part of his Fox job that some still think he's trying to find an off-ramp from that's why I hear what he said yesterday, and I'm thinking, is he actively looking for an off-ramp from this job that maybe he doesn't really want deep down to do? Maybe he fears the intense criticism, and you know what's going to happen. He's going to get roasted. There's going to be a segment of the population that thinks he is horrible, and they're going to relentlessly criticize anything and everything he says that can be fairly or unfairly criticized on social media. The other side of it, too, you've already got some concerns about, you know, if he's a part owner of the Raiders, are teams going to let him in? Other teams that compete with the Raiders directly or indirectly, are they going to let him into practices? Are they going to let him into production meetings if he owns a piece of the Raiders? Well, now if he's openly musing about possibly jumping on board with a contender, yeah. 
you have a more immediate reason to be concerned about letting Tom Brady in. He's got to put this thing to bed before I'm letting him into my building, unless I'm thinking maybe I want him in my building because I may be calling him. And I also wonder whether after last year, with so many quarterbacks who were injured during the course of the season, does he regret not having that mindset that maybe he could have come back last year and played for one of the teams that were contenders that had an injury at the quarterback position and were willing to pick up the phone and make a call. You know, if the Vikings, his mom grew up in Minnesota, the Vikings call after Kirk Cousins blows out his Achilles tendon in Green Bay, would he have been willing to do that at a time when the Vikings were kind of positioned to make things interesting in the NFC? So I, 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 you know, it comes off as a throwaway moment but I don't think Tom Brady is anything but fully strategic in everything he says and does. And I think that that is a far more significant comment than it seemed to be on the surface. I think that is, we talked earlier about the blinking red sign, Bills want a receiver, Vikings want a quarterback. Tom Brady is available. If you get to the other side of the draft, and you're not happy with your quarterback situation for 2024, give me a call. And guess what's going to happen, Mike, every time a quarterback goes down? And quarterbacks are going to go down. Unless he puts this to rest, every quarter is this team, they, they're contenders. Are they going to call Tom Brady? And I would bet, I would bet everything I own that they're going to call Tom Brady if they think they can contend and their quarterback is out for the season. There's no question about that. So this is going to be a season-long thing unless he puts it to bed and said, look, I'm working for Fox. I'm definitely retired. I was just joking around. It, it's going to be an issue every single time a quarterback is injured. Oh, they got to call Tom Brady. And, you know, here's what will happen. I don't want to be overly cynical, but I've seen these movies before with different players and possibly with Tom Brady. He'll let the next few weeks play out. And if he doesn't get a call, then maybe he'll say, I was just joking. Or he'll yeah. get to the point where if it becomes an annoyance, he can't complain about this. Until he puts out this fire, he can't complain about it because he started it. He's a little pyromania, pyromaniac who was rubbing sticks together and started this fire. So, uh, yeah, it's all on him. And anything that we do to make inferences and guesses and write fan fiction about where it can go from here, it all traces back to him saying what he said. Because I think after taking a year off, after maybe dealing with whatever feelings of guilt that he might have been experiencing after that 2022 season that went sideways in his personal life, it could be he's gotten enough under control that he could get away with coming back and playing. And he still, I think, believes he can play. Remember he said he doesn't want to retire and watch games and say, these guys suck, I'm better than them. Well, you're going to be watching games. You're going to be at games. You're going to have to hold your tongue saying, these guys suck, I'm better than them if you don't come back and play. So I just think there's a lot more to this. Uh oh, there's a there's a tweet from Tom Brady. Don't tell me he's already trying to say that he was just joking. Okay, all right, all right, good. I haven't seen the tweet yet, but but uh, yeah, I, I, you know, Shireen, I just think there's more to it than what he said yesterday, and I think this is a trial balloon to see if you know what if the Vikings aren't satisfied with any of their options in the draft, could they just kick this can here? They've already signed Sam Darnold for ten million dollars, but could they say? We're going to bring in Tom Brady as well and see what a year of him and Kevin O'Connell might produce. Crazier things have happened. And the Vikings were one of the teams that went Brett Favre late career and look at what it did for them in 2009. Now, Kevin O'Connell wasn't there in 2009. Quasio Dofa Mensa wasn't there in 2009. But you know who was? Mark and Ziggy Wolf. They were there in 2009 when they rode Brett Favre to the brink of the Super Bowl. You talked about rubbing the two sticks together. I think it was more than that. I think this was throwing gasoline and lighting the match. I think that's exactly <laughs> what we did. 50K likes and I'll unretire, grow it back out. 50, uh, uh, you know, uh, hey, look, 
I don't know if he just wants a little attention, whether he's getting a little bored. I, I think the guy knows he can still play. And here's the reality. At some point, father time will render him completely and totally unable to play. Why would you not play the sport you love while you can? I remember when he retired last year, he said to Jim Gray on his podcast, let's go. I still love it and I still want to play. So whatever it was beyond football that caused him to take a year off, I get the I just get the feeling by him saying what he said, that fire has been put out. So whether he's rubbing two sticks together or whether he's pouring jet fuel on it, lighting a match and running away, I'm I'm intrigued. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.